Hey there. So in this video, I just want to explain how to uh, use Zapier to automatically um, update the due date of an activity to, to make it so that it puts it for a month from now or anything like that. Um, you can choose your own time. So basically, this will work, uh, again, using Zapier because uh, Pipedrive doesn't have an option to create this type of automation. So, uh, in essence, uh, this is all about creating an activity. Um, let's call this uh, test Zapier activity. Um, and then, I mean, when you save it, it's going to be saved with the due date for today. Um, today is the 8th of, of November, so it's going to be saved for that day, right? So you can see the activity here, test Zapier. And it's the activity 688. So this um, field here called ID, activity ID will give you the ID of that um, same activity. So in Zapier, um, all you have to do is uh, create a series of steps, one being the trigger. So um, Zapier takes this new activity and creates a trigger for it. So, well, you have to create the trigger, choose pipe drive, then choose new activity from the selection of triggers. Choose your account. In this case, I have many accounts, but be sure to choose the correct one. Um, then you have to uh, choose the filter that will be used to um, find this activity. So in my case, I just want all activities added uh, to myself. Um, you're going to see all the user filters for all the users in, in your pipe drive system or simply the everyone filter which is this one so all the activities for all the people in the pipe drive account so in my case I put myself uh, Daniel and that's it I'm not filtering based on anything else you can do it if you want only trigger activities of a certain type for example but in my case I'll do them all so I just created a new activity sorry and it was 688. So I'm gonna run this again. Um, I already did all these steps just to test it before making this video, but I'm just gonna run this again for the sake of this example. So fetch and continue. It'll it'll get the latest activity within that filter, which is the one that I just created. Now here I can click on view your activity, and just to be sure, test Zapier. That's the activity I just created right now. And here's the ID, 688. So we're sure that we're talking about the same activity. Now the next one is to create um, a kind of like a formatter. So um, if you put another action and just type in uh, formatter by Zapier, you're going to find this one. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to format the time of the, the current due date you have at the moment. And it's going to, you can assign an extra month to it, an extra day to it, two months, three months. So it's very helpful to automatically add some time to a date that you already have in the system. So you add this, then choose date time. And then here in the template, you'll choose here, add subtract time. You have a list of, uh, of uh, options you have here, format, but you want to put add and subtract time. Then in input, you're actually going to choose from your new activity trigger, you're going to choose here due date. So that's the due date from this trigger here, so from this activity that's being triggered. So that what that's going to do, again, you choose, you pick, um, you click on this little insert a field um, icon, and you put due date. What, what that's going to do is that it's gonna update that due date for every activity that's triggered by Zapier. So here it ex explains what you want us to do. So you can add a minute, a month, days, hours. So in this case, I just wanna add one extra month. So here's how I do that, All right? Plus one month. And then here, it ask, asks you what format are you expecting this in? So because uh, Pipedrive uses um, so here we're going to be dealing with API and within our API, I'm just going to show you our API page. Um, wait, 
it um, works with this format, year, month, day, you also have to uh, choose that same format. So year, month, day, that's it. You can choose it from the drop down menu. And then simply continue. Um, this is all good. Yep. And then we can go into the last step. So this is the, the, the most important one. Here you're going you're gonna to try to search for put. Um, it's a webhook by Zapier. So webhooks. And then choose put, which is an uh, a API request. Uh, and then here in the, um, in the edit template, you will have to basically use this same API developers page and look for the edit and activity endpoint. So once you've done that, um, you can just make a quick test, uh, put any activity ID here, and then click on test endpoint. Once you've done that, you'll see these two things, request and response. Within the request part, you can actually get the request URL, which you will need uh, on the Zapier um, put request. So you copy this as it is and then you put it here and very important if you haven't used the API uh, page yet in order to test things in the API page you ha firstly have to go to the very beginning and add your own API token here you can find your own API token uh, by going to pipe drive settings uh, personal API just copy that there and then you'll be able to test things out with the uh, with the API documentation page so now I will try to find where it was. There we go. So again, you copy this and you put it here. But since that's using a specific ID of the ID that of the activity you put here, and that's not the correct one in every case, you actually want Zapier to put an, uh, a new um, ID here by uh, connected to every activity that's being triggered. So the trick here is to delete that number Again, I'll show you this number. You delete it and you insert uh, like a variable that uh, you can get from the, from the trigger. So that variable will be uh, simply activity ID. So uh, you just look for it here. That's the one. So you put your cursor here where that number was and you just click here and that activity ID is going to pop up there. So this is how you want it to be. Then you're going to choose JSON for the payload type. Um, you choose due date here because that's how it's called, due date. You can see how, it's, uh, how the field is called by going to the API page again. And here you'll see the, the names, the API keys for all those fields. So due, due date with this under, underscore in the middle. Due date. Then here you're going to put another variable um, from, from the second step here. So you're going to choose the due date that has already been formatted. So in this case um, it's 8th of December, one month after. So that's correct. Um, and then the headers is the other part that you have to uh, select. Uh, if you go back to the API request, remember that I said that you have two things here that appear, request and then the response. So the response is going to give you headers. You can copy these, contents type, and then application, applica application JSON, and uh, put them here. So you just copy those into this place, and then you're good to go. You can continue. And um, yeah, that should be it. You can finish and name your zap. Um, if you go back to pipe drive, uh, that activity is gone from this list because it's not today anymore. You can go to planned. And there we go. Test, test Zapier is now for the 8th of December instead of 8th of November. So, um, yeah, good luck with that. Um, it should be relatively easy to, to set up. Um, it might take a little bit of trial and error, but once it's set up, it should run automatically for all activities that are uh, within the filter that you've selected in this new activity trigger. Um, also, um, Zapier 
runs every five minutes at least in, in the in the version that I have it but they have a couple of different plans with different times of, of update so uh, yeah feel free to give it a go and good luck